Hello again, YouTube. As you can see, I am out on my kayak and I've done some work to uh, get this kayak set up for the purpose of being able to do photography from the kayak. And uh, specifically, the setup I have right now is for birds in flight. And what I've done is I've mounted what Hobie calls their H-bar accessory to my pro angler. And with the H-bar accessory, I've got this bar that comes up and gives me a spot to mount this gimbal head here and attach to the gimbal as my camera with my 200 millimeter to 600 millimeter lens on. I'm out at Bar Lake right now, and Bar Lake is a great place for bird watching. And usually when I'm out here, the, the water is a little bit calmer than it is now. The wind just died down as we get into the evening hours. And usually the water is just glass. And then we get these pelicans flying and they fly so low to the water that you get the pelican and the reflection in the water when the water's like glass. And so I've had this desire to come out here and try to photograph pelicans while they're flying like that low to the water. I've just set this up for the ability to do this and tonight is kind of the shakeout and it's a shakeout on a couple different things. One, I've got my camera mounted to the to kayak here. Two, I finally got GoPros mounted to the kayak. I've got the one that you can uh, see me in now. I've got another one that is facing forward which is a little bit lower to the water and then I have the GoPro 360 off my side here. Unfortunately the GoPro 360, the battery is dead on it so it's not uh, operating right now. But uh, we do have the uh, one that you're looking at as well as the one going forward. Now I've got a bird in flight just off to my left and uh, it honestly may be an eagle over there. Unfortunately he is flying away from me as opposed to towards me. But it's those kind of bird sightings that have really spurred this desire to set this up like this for the ability to come out here and shoot birds in flight. And uh, not just shoot birds in flight but shoot them from the water perspective. So I'm going to spend the evening out here and uh, see what the sunset does and see if maybe we get some of those glassy conditions and the pelicans start playing around and, and flying low and see if we just can't get some photos of some birds in flight. The other reason why I've gone through the trouble of setting this up is I have got an awesome trip planned. And, uh, I'm so excited for this trip. I mean, literally it has been something that I have obsessed over for the last couple of months. And this trip is finally gonna happen. And uh, I'm not gonna give it away, but this trip is gonna be memorable. Um, it's gonna be a, a, a pretty lengthy trip. It's gonna be a lot of driving involved, but it's also gonna inv involve this kayak and taking photography while on the kayak. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get all this set up. Now we just gotta go find some birds. Glad once again to have you along. Hopefully you bring good luck because we really want to see some birds tonight. Let's do it. Okay, let's talk camera settings here for a minute while we work our way across the lake. There is what looks like a bird floating in the water out there. So I'm going to slowly start working over there. And uh, what I'm going to focus on now is uh, continuous autofocus. Make sure that that thing is constantly focusing. High speed plus shooting. So as many frames per second as possible. And I want to get that shutter speed at least up over a thousand. So I'll be working with my uh, ISO in order to make that happen. I'm going to shoot wide open, get that lens. And this is not a very fast lens to begin with. Um, it's going to be sitting at about 6.3 for the aperture, which is not fast at all. But we're going to shoot wide open and then uh, try to get as much light into that sensor as possible and just start cranking off as many images as possible and hope that we can get this bird as we sneak up on him to start taking off and get some flight in him. Okay, we definitely have a pelican out there in the water. We're going to slowly work up to him so that we don't spook him. Last thing I want to do is harass any of the wildlife out here, but I do know that whenever we get a little bit closer, he is probably going to want, he or she, is probably going to want to take off and start flying. So I want to be as slow as possible while I sneak up here. That way I can get him as large in the frame as possible without having to rely on the frame of this 200 to 600 millimeter lens. One of the things that I love about this Hobie Pro Angler is being able to use my feet for propulsion instead of having to focus on a paddle in my hand. 
and that allows me to keep my hand here on the camera. I can also keep one hand on the rudder if I need to drift left or right as I slowly glide into position. paying attention to where he is in relation to the sun. I don't want to be shooting into the sun and end up with just a silhouette of a pelican. If I adjusted the exposure so that I didn't have that silhouette but still shot into the sun, then I'd be at risk of the sky just looking absolutely horrible. So I'm trying to drift over to the left of him. That way I can cut back right and he'll be in the frame and in the right position to get some nice lighting from the sun as it gets ready to set this evening, but at the same time, it doesn't mess with the exposure of the photograph. And we've got over to the left of him. Now we're gonna start drifting the kayak back over to the right so that we're in position for this photo. I've quit using the drive now, so I'm just coasting right now hoping that I'm slowly move up to him and really get close enough for this shot. It's 600 millimeters, he's still stretched pretty far. Now I did bring my teleconverter, so I can put that on and get this lens out to 840 millimeters. Of course, doing so, I lose one stop of light and would either have to increase that ISO or suffer with a lower shutter speed. Well, the wind has really calmed down since I got out here water doesn't have near the movement that it had before. I'm hoping that it really turns into that evening glass that you see so often when you're out here on Bar Lake. Now whenever I talk about alignment with him, there's actually a fishing boat now that is on the other side. So there's me, the pelican, and then a fishing boat. If he does decide to start taking off and going into flight, that fishing boat is probably going to ruin any chance I have of a clean photo. So I want to make sure I position myself to not have that fishing boat in my background. That's something that's really important whenever you're taking photos is not just the subject but also what's behind it. It doesn't matter if you're taking macro shots and you want something with a very nice blurred background you want to make sure that the colors of that blurred background are going to accentuate the photo that you're taking in the main subject at the same time if you're doing a landscape you got to make sure you know what's back there of course if you're shooting people you want to make sure you know what's back there make sure there aren't trees coming out of the top of their heads make sure that you know their head isn't being bisected by a mountain or something so always have to be careful to always align your subject with a background that complements the subject as opposed to detracting from it. As you can see we're turned around. He is moving back towards the direction I came and we've just kind of circled each other. I'm going to go ahead and turn back around now, leave that one alone and go see if we can find another one. sun is getting ready to dip in behind a uh, bank of clouds there and so I do not anticipate seeing much golden light after that. I tell you even if I don't get a good photo tonight it's still just beautiful to be out here on this lake and, and I always enjoy coming out here. Uh, more often than not the sunsets are just beautiful. Uh, you can see the clouds here in front of me are just picking up some nice color from the setting sun. 
and uh, turned out to be just a beautiful evening when I was pulling up and saw the flags flying and whipping in the breeze and then got here to the water and saw it had a little chop in it I was really concerned that it wasn't gonna produce the the uh, conditions that I wanted them to but lo and behold another beautiful sunset here on Bar Lake and really just uh, glad to live so close here that I can come out here on a frequent basis and, and really enjoy the beauty and the nature out here well the lighting is diminished to the point where I'm not going to be able to get a nice fast action shot of a bird in flight unfortunately it just wasn't a successful outing in that regard but again still beautiful to come out here and enjoy the lake especially this beautiful sunset here in front of me and you know any time on the water is better than time sitting at home I suppose and uh, we'll just have to come out and do it again right so I appreciate you coming along on this maiden voyage of trying to get some birds in flight with this uh, kayak setup and hopefully our next trip is more successful than this one but as always glad to have you here if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so and ring that bell so you're notified next time I upload a video you're definitely gonna want to know where I go for this next trip it is gonna be uh, just special just absolutely special I picked out some locations for photography and uh, I'm excited and uh, can't wait to share with all of you so until then happy shooting <music>